Welcome to Beyond the Lab, a series by the Office of Career Development within the Biomedical Research, Education, and Training Department of the Vanderbilt University School of Medicine. My name is Kate Stewart, and I'm here today with Ray Price, who is a graduate of the Pharmacology Department. So thank you for coming back. Yeah, great to be with you. So tell me about what you did like when you were here at Vanderbilt. Sure. So I started in 1996, came in through the IGP program, and uh, did rotations, first year class classwork, and then uh, spent time in the Pharmacology Department. Um, Worked with a lady named Elaine Sanders-Bush, great mentor, and then um, part, two things that were, I think, kind of unique to my experience were uh, I did an internship in Japan, a summer internship with a pharmaceutical company. I knew I wanted to go into industry. And then I also did an internship at a um, pharmaceutical or biotech company in San Diego. Quite cool. rough, but uh, had to do it. Uh, and spent three months there, got about 10,000 or 15,000 dose response curves and used that data really for the bulk of my dissertation. Okay, so what do you do now? I work for a, another biotech company called DiscoverX. We do drug discovery services in vitro pharmacology, both services and products. Okay. I'm in the business development team, so part of their commercial arm. What does that mean? So uh, a couple <laughs> of different things. Uh, we have a commercial team that's um, all over the US and Europe. So they have, we call them territory or account managers. They were responsible for a particular territory, let's say San Francisco Bay Area, San Diego, where I'm based. They work with, um, clients, pharmaceutical, biotech companies, academics to um, try and place cell lines or sell drug discovery services. If those things get more complex or larger, we talk about contracts, um, those kind of things, you know, regular screening uh, applications, then I would be brought in to have those discussions, negotiate um, or participate in negotiating those contracts, make sure from an operational level that we can deliver those things that expectations are met, etc. Okay, so what does your typical day look like? So it's a couple of different choices. One is that I'm usually traveling. So every, I probably had three weeks this year where I haven't traveled overnight. Um, so it, that day I'm dressed much like this in a suit and uh, going to meet clients or prepare uh, presentations or discussions, proposals uh, for clients, but in a very outward facing, we would call it our client facing role. Um, the other half of the time roughly is, is internal. So um, internal meetings, what we call prospecting, looking for new companies or new individuals at those companies that might find our products or services interesting. Um, and in that case, I'm wearing shorts and a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> so. so tell me, you have to do some networking then in your Absolutely. role. What Absolutely. What are your networking strategies? So I, uh, I'm on LinkedIn uh, quite a bit. I find that you know, people will have a, a kind of warm connection. So I'll look for alumni. You know, in preparing for this event, I uh, looked up alumni at um, different pharmaceutical companies and wrote to them on LinkedIn before I came. Um, go to conferences a lot or you know, I always have a, a stack of business cards. I mean, part of why I enjoy about my role, just in general personality-wise, I like matching people with needs up with people that can meet them. So whether that's helping somebody move. We used to do that a lot here in graduate school days, helping people find jobs or roles or providing information that can help people make those decisions. Um, or you know, if someone has a need to do drug discovery better or improve perhaps a, a process or a system that they're using internally and I can help do that, that's, that's incredibly satisfying to me. Okay, good. But, so a mixture of online, but in-person networking absolutely trumps that in terms of being able to look into someone's eyes, see you know, responses, read body language, all of those things are incredibly important. Cool, so what um, what would you tell a student who's interested in going into biotech? You know, what would you tell them, like words of wisdom to do while they're here at Vanderbilt? Sure, well, so like I said, I had an opportunity through a dissertation enhancement grant that right. was funded by Vanderbilt to actually go and, and spent uh, about three months at this biotech company. And I had a very detailed research plan of what I would uh, was hoping to accomplish and ended up being able to accomplish most of that. Uh, I also was funded for the summer internship through a um, the NIH Fogarty Center for International Experience. So I had a chance to go to Japan. I knew I wanted to be in a pharmaceutical company and so have that experience of what research was like in that environment. So I think there are probably opportunities either as graduate students or postdocs to explore those things, particularly with an international component. That was uh, important to me. And you know, but being able to sort of learn the language or the jargon of, you know, if I'm interviewing someone that's just coming out of graduate school or a postdoc mm -hmm. and into the industry to know that they're at least familiar in some level with how research is done differently in mm -hmm. an academic versus an industrial setting. Cool. So 
What are some of the skills that you had to learn after you left Vanderbilt that maybe you didn't get during your graduate training? Now that you were in the working field, you probably did have to gain some skills. What were what were those? Sure. So some of it's a lot of a lot of it's actually managing people or interacting with people in teams. You do a lot more of that in industry and especially in in sales or business development. You're interacting with people a ton, and so how do you? You manage people that maybe don't directly report to you. How do you influence them in order to, you know, deliver on things that they're supposed to be doing? How do you, um, you know, I present a lot more than I ever thought I would uh, in terms of you know, both technical but also um, business uh, presentations. So the ability to uh, interact with people, not have a sort of set of slides that I'm just going to go through and, but based on questions or feedback, be able to change basically the direction of a presentation pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, working with people or managing people, I don't think, we didn't have that ne let's say the necessity even to do that in, in graduate school compared to, you know, geographically, dis geographically dispersed teams, um, you know, communicating a lot more by email and by phone and doing so in a way that's still persuasive. Yeah. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. All right. My pleasure. Great to be here.